So let's get into the matches here. MJF and Adam Cole took on Aussie Open, Kyle Fletcher and Mark Davis for the Ring of Honor World Tag Team Championships. Uh, I'll read my notes and then I'll just sort of give my off the top thoughts. So I'll start with the latter. Um, MJF and Adam Cole, I I don't know. Well, it's in my notes, actually. So why don't I just read my notes? So I just wrote, it's so stupid to have these two on this early. Yes, I'm one of those marks who thinks that. Um, the angle after the match where they look at the belts and the super kick catch, et cetera, their title win, this title win, all of that stuff just should have happened on the Dynamite before leading up to this show. This little match here where they beat Aussie Open, it could have just happened on Dynamite the week before. Um Later on in the press conference, MJF says, you know, the marks who say, oh, we're ruining their pop. I, I never said I don't care. I'm not talking about pop. You know me. I go off on you fucking marks and your pops, you know, popping for yourselves. My my whole thing is this. It's just uh, it just felt like why couldn't this have happened on collision the night before or to try and boost a rating on that show um, or it could have happened on dynamite. That's all. I just feel like they could have taken one extra week to build this this thing and they could have just had this happen before i really don't get why this ha- and especially with everyone complaining about all the wrestlers who weren't on the show i mean you're at wembley the hardys couldn't have been on it in some way they don't have to go through tables but they couldn't have just anything you know like um i, I don't know you could have had a battle royal even like get these guys like there's all these girls everyone's complaining about who weren't on the card they had one women's match as well everyone likes to cry about wwe <laughs> They had one women's match. Women's, and it was just women are trash. Okay. Women are trash. Okay, what are, okay, what okay. Are you mad about right that aside, I'm not. I'm not saying it should be the women. What I'm saying is, it I, know, should... I don't mean you. Oh, oh, I know, I know. I'm just saying. I'm just in my own defense, right? To someone who would counter what I'm saying with what you said, I would just say to that, you know, I'm not even. I'm not even personally picketing for that. What I'm saying is, there was a big singles match that could have been on this card. There was two singles, uh, three singles matches, sorry, and they were like the most over matches with me the whole night. So anyways, though, not to dissect all this, but you can break down the match. Give me your thoughts on this match. But my last note was before you do was uh, this did not need to be on the pay-per-view whatsoever. It's genuinely pointless, and it baffled me that it it all was. And imagine WWE doing this. They would get dragged so fucking hard, dude. And uh, Hairline, your thoughts on this match. Yeah, Roman, Roman on the free show. <laughs> they'd get dragged yeah, they'd get yeah, dragged yeah. so hard and yeah and then they'd be and then everyone would point to look at the wrestlers that don't get a chance look at the wrestlers who didn't get a chance this just buried aussie open on the biggest stage ever when like really you could get them maybe yeah, no shit. they could have had a match on the pre-over get it on, on the pre-over on the pre-show getting themselves back over again over you could have saved the hardy squash for wembley for aussie open there you go I don't know. Just ideas. Hairline, sorry. You go ahead and uh, give me your thoughts on this match. Aussie Open's got some fucking corny ass entrance music. <laughs> fucking. Mm-mm. That's like what I could see like Australian bros bumping. I never, never again, bro. Um, I thought it was a very good tease of MJF and his dive, um, especially with it paying off later on. I just like, you know, big sports entertainment mark. So I'm just, you know, Mark out for that kind of shit. Dog, MJF got a pretty big fucking pop for the kangaroo kick, despite all that shit you thought. Uh, I know, I know. But, dude, you got, again, if that if he did that shit in you fucking Chicago, I don't think they'd have popped like that. If they if no, they yeah, did that yeah, shit yeah, in yeah. Duluth or wherever they were the other week, they I don't think they'd have popped <laughs> like that. Bro. Yeah, wherever the fuck. I'm just being honest. But to what you said, go ahead. This match was great, by the way. I was popping the whole way. And I love, I know you shit on these these Australian boys, Aussie Open. I know you don't shit on them. but you're, music. Yeah, their but music. I, I like these guys. <laughs> yeah, and, them. and they they are, you know, the future of fucking tag team wrestling. Again, they're guys I look at them yeah, like, I, if I, they I, were in WWE. <laughs> Just kidding. They'd be stuck in NXT. But sorry, you go ahead. You go ahead. Yeah, they kind of look like Nick Wayne's older brother and fucking <laughs> the Butcher's little, little yeah. brother. Little it's thing. Nick, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly it. Oh, my God. Uh, or their cousins. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, so, man. Uh, last thing I have in yeah. my bed. Last thing I have in my notes is fucking new ROH champions. Yeah, yeah. They have an Adam Cole, the 67th. 67, bro. 